Hey everybody, this is Ben and welcome back to HackNet. So I am here on the CSEC Crossroads server because there's a bunch of other deck files that I wanted to check out on here. Um, so CSEC and code one. That's just, we're gonna open them all up. Can I, I don't, oh, that files requires a password. Oh, interesting. He's like, encode one. Hmm. All right, well, let's uh, cipher T2 screenplay. Why not? It's probably just a joke, but. Oh, it requires a password. Are you kidding me? C. Oh, uh, no. D cipher. C exe. Con contact. Try this one. If this needs a password, then wow, okay. I guess I'm not looking at any of those. Because, yeah, they're all locked up tight. Hmm. Well, that's disappointing. All those decrypting thing, doing all the decryption doesn't add any logs, so that's interesting. All right, back to the contract hub. Contract listing. Track an encrypted file. Uh, oh, decrypted secure transmission. Hey, I can do that one now. That unlocked. A secure file was sent to a CSEC member who has no means of decrypting it. They have the needed passwords for the job. Oh, great. This should be super easy. Contract 1980. Totally accepting that one. Two ships in the night. Hey, a friend sent over some details of a job we're on, but threw it under encryption, and I just don't have any have a means of getting it open. Ah, good. It's got the password. It's up on the crossroads as CEXE contract.deck. Can you decrypt it and upload it to the drop server? Thanks, CSEC Dan. I absolutely can. Oh, we can get rid of this, by the way. Download, decrypt, upload. Yep, gotcha. Uh, cross, crossroads is here. And so we'll just scrape that C. Exe contact. Great. It is mine. Decipher C Exe contact. This is getting full. I would organize things if. Oh, duh. Um, decrypt it. Why didn't you put the password in the note? You jerk. Add now Quin Quinnock. Okay. Now decipher C E X E contact Quinnock. There we go. Jeez, forgot the password the first time. Come on. And then it's gonna very slowly shuffle some numbers around. Very slowly. Very slowly. All right. The contact uses a Gmail account under DLock. I know we've been after this for a long time, but don't get hasty just because this is a solid lead. We take it slow. More updates when I've got a plan for it. Okay. Um, actually, I think I forgot to, uh, yeah, remove my logs here. Drop server. Okay, uploads, that's where... Read all hackers. Okay, yep, um... Okay, cool, got that. Um, we're gonna... So we'll upload, no, home, C, C, exe, oh my god, typo, <laughs> cse contact dot txt, Ugh. upload complete, okay, good. Going to log, log, removing my logs. I didn't upload those. I don't know who did. 
Wasn't me. Great, that was an easy one. Contract successful. Uh, for the contracts, ranking is 19 of 100. Excellent. Log in, contract listing. Um, I'm gonna leave the death row ones. Now let's do track an encrypted file. We think we've located a way to track down where deck encrypted files were encoded. We have a password locked file and want it open. There should be enough leads for you to go on. Interesting, I'll accept that. Through the spyglass. Mm. You know, I, I kind of noticed there was an IP address in the decrypt thing. Apparently, deck encrypted files store the IP they were encoded at with some miscellaneous messages in the encoded headers, presumably for debug purposes or something. But to us, it looks like a wide open security vulnerability, which is great because we have something we need decoded and we have no idea what the password for it is. So first step, find a way to read these headers. We had a bit of a dig around and found out that one of the deck solutions employees might have a way to decode headers without knowing the password of a file. Go take a look around on his end and reply if you find anything useful. We'll have more for you after that. Joseph Scott's Battle Station. All right, so I need to poke around and get the header decryptor. Uh, three ports, and I'm spoiled for choice. So let's do um, SMTP, FTP, SSH. Yeah, not quite enough. I guess if I'd done the HTTP, the port 80, they probably would have had enough memory to run three at once. There we go. It wouldn't matter, though, because the FTP one takes so damn long. There we go. We are in. There's been no traces on any of these. I'm a little bit surprised. Okay, sis, nothing interesting. Bin, nothing interesting. Get my logs in a minute. Work. Ah, deck head. Deck header analysis. Analysis has this, has this, has this. This is getting, seriously getting out of hand. First, the problems with actually being able, being able to break the encryption without the proprietary tool. Now this, reading the headers is still a big problem. There's the encode, encode, encode source IP in there, which yeah, is still a huge security concern. Thanks very much. I don't care how much easier it makes your debugging sessions and client relationships. Well, here's some more working proof that we've got problems. I'll have the dust settle on the first bombshell, then throw this into the ring. Two at once might get me fired. Best hold on to this till things calm down a bit. Oh, deckhead.exe. Why do you cause me so many problems? I guess it's more more just outsourcing in general. Why am I blogging into a text file? Ugh, painkillers. Huh. <laughs> Dude's on painkillers, apparently. Okay, so we're gonna... Deckhead.exe. We're gonna grab that. That looks fun. And then we're gonna leave you, Joseph Scott. Enjoy your painkillers. Great, okay, so. First step, find a way to read these headers. Okay, got it. Yeah, okay. Neat. Got something good? All right, the file we're looking at is up on the crossroads, csec encode 1.dec. We renamed it so people wouldn't go messing with it. It was originally named WinCE firmware specs.dec when we got it, if that helps. Hmm. Anyway, read the headers of that, find out where it was encoded, and go track that password down. Reply to this with the password in the email, and we'll take care of the rest. Okay. Thanks for the help, CT team. All right, great. So, let's see how this see how this works. So, if we do deck head on csec encode one, great. Still slow. Okay, great. There it is. So now. Um, yeah, it's still over here on my 
Move that. Great. Now connect. 168. That's 61. That 82. 245. Here we are. Ah, Microsoft Workhorse Server 04. Okay, Microsoft. Oh, it's not. You guys don't even have a firewall. Are you kidding me? Seriously. Let's hope there's a trace. There is. Okay, great. Um, I'm gonna have to wait on the SQL thing, but we're gonna be totally fine. Port hack, and we're gonna try the disconnect trick. I'll make sure to remove the logs first, though, of course, just in case. Yeah, CD log. Bam, and scan. Also, remove all the logs, just in case I don't have admin, but I should. Here we go. Yep, looks like I kept it. Fantastic. Work logs. Oh my gosh. Uh, encode file. Oh my god. <laughs> Naruto X rated collection.zip. Output printer drivers.tech. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Ah. File may not see us. Output. WinC debug non release.exe. Oh, interesting. Can you output an exe? One warning detected. Unreachable code detected. Very strange. All right. WinCE firmware specs. Password beep beep. <laughs> firmware specs that PDF points to a dot deck. All right. Password is beep beep. Uh, is this a Roadrunner thing or something? Uh, okay, he's having trouble with that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> File lemon stealing whore.avi. I'll put serious business documents dot deck. You guys, seriously. Anything good? No. Nothing good at all. IRC log. Na 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 na. Ah, uh, paid. Oh, ha ha ha. Uh, so we got it. Let's go and decrypt that file and see what it is, and then we'll email it off to those people, to whatever these people are or wants it or whatever. Okay. Um, oh, didn't I download that one? I guess not. So let's go over to the Crossroads server, file system. Okay, I'm gonna download this sucker. Covering the tracks, file system. Great. Okay, so decipher, csec encode one, beep, beep. Okay, so what, what is even in here that they are interested in? Code1.pdf. Let's see, firmware driver development guide. Uh, for the development of drivers and firmware. Okay, I have a stream interface, network adapters. Um, you should use the following path to inject code for your driver. Oh, okay, so this could be used, quite useful information for a hacker group. So, reply to this with the password. 
which is beep, beep. Send it off. Contract successful. There we go. Congratulations, the client of your recent contract has reported his success. You're free to accept further contracts. Rank is nine of a hundred. All right. CSEC admins flagged for critical contract. Okay, agent, administrators have flagged your account with permissions to accept a critical contract. This is listed as Project Junebug on the listings page. Be aware that accepting this contract may be either time consuming or require confidentiality and a separation from other projects for a time and should be undertaken only with the expectation that other contracts and possibly CSEC services may be unavailable for its duration. Thank you, CSEC. That's slightly ominous. So if I log in here, yeah, I got everything unlocked now. Help an aspiring writer. I would love to help an aspiring writer. I'm a nice guy. Um, so let's just read what this is. Aspiring writer wants us to get one of his scripts to a producer. You know what? That I can do. We'll do this one real quick. A convincing application. A writer wants to get a draft of their latest work to a producer and has had some trouble getting past secretaries and the like. He wants us to just break in and drop his work in the target scripts to review folder so his gets looked at. His script, fofscreenplay.doc, has been uploaded to the crossroads. He also provided an encrypted script that his was to compete with that we can use to trace. Wait, this is also on the crossroads, t2screenply.deck. Upload his script to the scripts folder of the target machine. As always, remember to... Wait, what? As always, remember to tab complete upload commands. Upload bin slash, then press the tab key to get a list of local file to upload and autocomplete. Um, yeah, I feel like that's a no-brainer. Okay. Crossroad server. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, so... What we want to do is deck head on T2 screenplay. Source IP, there we go. All right. Go over to logs, remove that, remove that. And there's, okay, so then we do connect to 37.187.27.55. Fantastic. Probe system. Jason's Lackbook Pro. Oh, he has a firewall, and I need two ports. All right. Oh, wow, he's, like, right on top of me. <laughs> Is he my neighbor? Can I just go knock on his door? Seriously. Um, oh, I need to get... Ah, I almost forgot that. That would have sucked. Because I don't think I downloaded the FOF screenplay. Why would I do that? Seriously. It looked like... It looked like, it looked like shit. Literally. <sighs> I have to download this shit. All right. Okay, great. All right. So I've got that. Um, yeah, that's okay. So analyze, no trace, that's good. Uh, something with G, N, G. D something, N, G something. Danger. Great. Um, so then we're gonna sure do SMTP SH and then port hack. SH is clear. SMTP is clear. Port hack. Okay, scan the network, nothing. View file system, system, nothing. Bin, nothing. Logs, mine. New folder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Playing Pong. Very hilarious. Very danger. Why is the word danger so good? Not just danger. Danger! All caps. It's just the objectively best word. Best zone, the danger zone. Best middle name, danger. I wish I could use that word for everything. <laughs> oh my god. GHL chapter list. All right, so this is where we want to upload home slash fof screenplay dot doc. There you go. There you go, man. So danger is clearly the 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 password for this stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this and we'll we'll take a look at these super quickly just for fun. Alright. Uh log, please. Okay, that contract is done. Before we complete it, though, let's real quick take a look at Cypher. Uh, we're going to do GHL chapter list. Danger. I'm sure that's what it was. <laughs> oh, it's incorrect. You got to be kidding me. But you said, you said, is this case make a difference? Let's just double check. No, it doesn't. Well, darn it. All right. Let's just complete this contract and call it an episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you're enjoying Hacknet. My contract was successful. I am ranked one. I am ranked one. <gasps> Bit Foundation. All right. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you're enjoying Hacknet. I certainly am. This is getting exciting. I think we're going to start getting to track down Bit. Maybe he won't be dead, you know? Imprisoned also prevents you from logging on. It's just as dead also does. But I'll see you all in the next episode.